Welcome to Goya's Garden and Tie-Dyes. I'm Greg. All right, today we will be doing a Gildan 4X and it's uh, a bottom corner fan fold. And I'm just gonna pleat it up here. I determined where I wanted to start it. The circle's not too big and not too small. And the size of your starting point does make a big difference. If you start it out too small, then your pleats at the top will be huge. And if you start out too big, then it's hard to uh, manage the bottom corner. So try to pick a happy medium. That's why on the tapestry, you've seen a couple uh, starting and stopping points. Okay, so, and this information was brought to you by Scott Rad Dye Walker. You learn a lot from him. Check him out on uh, Facebook. I think he only has one video in his YouTube right now, but he's going to be working on it. And I will be using artificial sinew. You know, that's the stuff that they used to make out of deer guts or cat guts or some kind of guts anyway, back in the day. But this has a nice kind of a wax coating on it where it sticks on itself. So that's kind of cool. It doesn't slip. You can wrap it around several times and pull real hard and you get a nice crisp white line. Or if you don't pull it all that hard, the dye will go underneath, but sometimes you want that. And the more times you wrap it around, obviously the whiter, not like whiter, whiter <laughs> lines you'll get. And I used to just use the roll that the sinew came in, but it kind of collapses in on itself. It's really hard to control. Then I used a closet dowel. And then I got my sinew puller and caddy from Boredom of Gent. If you're new and obviously you want to try different things, but this works very well. I have videos where it shows the speed loading of it. It actually is almost less than a minute to uh, reload the uh, puller there. But anyway, give her a look. If you get stumped and you don't like the closet dowel or you don't like the roll of the sinew, you can always get one of these. And she has all kinds of other things, like I'm using a pleating tool that uh, she also makes. But anyway, give her a look if you need some good tie-dye tools. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on here, and I will be back in just a minute. And I just wanted to mention that I'm not pulling the sinew very tight. Um, I don't want to leave white lines on it. I actually want it to kind of creep underneath it a little bit. And it makes for a nice fan, actually. So just be aware of that. If you want white lines, you crank down on it. If you don't, you just do it a little bit. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're just about done with that and time to add some dye. And we're using Violet Skies from Happy Cat. This is a very cool color. I have some other shirts up and coming that I really can't wait to show you. And the rubber bands are on there just to keep some of the material tucked in. That was in between the sinew and it was just sticking out a little bit. All right, we're just about done with that. And this is going to be a hot water irrigation. 
And whenever I do that, and I have a shirt with rubber bands on it, I like to put the cheesecloth on there because it prevents splatter. This is my first time doing a hot water in a gutter. And having the two walls there, I just knew that there'd be splatter. And you already see the walls on the side of the gutter splattering. So definitely paid off to put the cheesecloth on it. And this kind of cheesecloth, I have a list in my description box, but uh, you're supposed to be able to wash it out. I wouldn't wash it in a washing machine or nothing like that, but you can rinse it out very well. I will be using some here in a couple of videos down the road to show you how well it works. But most of it does rinse out. It stays a little pink or it's got some color in it, but it doesn't transfer to anything else. So that's pretty cool. Because believe it or not, I did stick some in the washing machine. <laughs> and no, just one big knot. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of dye as we go. And it looks like it's pure white on top. That's just the sun shining underneath there. Um, you can see when I run the sprayer over it, you can see how the light changes. So that's just an optical illusion. You can see when my door there is moving back and forth, it uh, goes purple and then goes white. But uh, I'm just kind of working it in a little bit, cleaning it up some, and here we go. All right, so my first thought, I really liked the way it came out, but you can see down in the bottom corner, I really should have tied the lines a little bit tighter because the water actually kind of forces it underneath, but I do like it. So next time I do something like this with the hot water, I'm gonna tie it just a little bit tighter and see what happens. But like I said, I'm pleased with it. It's got great color on it. And some other Violet Sky shirts I have coming up look nothing like this one. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. You know I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you liked it, please hit like. And if you wanna share it, by all means, please do. And I do wanna welcome all my new subscribers. All right, I'll see you next time.